If you're anything like me, you don't like spending money on this game, but you're aware enough to know that you can earn gold for free just by playing. And because I'm low on gold from buying the Rogaldorn through my earned gold, I now need to grind out enough gold for the next season next week. So I thought I'd share with you all the ways you can earn gold in this game without giving Wargaming your hard earned dough. Starting off with what I'm currently doing in order to reach that 2000 gold needed for a standard pass, the long haul. Each week you can earn up to 2 war chests by placing top 7 and XP earners on your team 150 times, 75 per war chest. This sounds like a lot of battles, and it is, since it's not guaranteed that you'll get top 7 each game as well, but unlike what long haul used to be, you don't have to win. So win or loss, if you did better than 8 players on your team, you make progress towards a free war chest. I personally only obtain one a week from four days of four hour play sessions for 16 hours total. But with these war chests, you can get any kind, private, sergeant, or general. But you are most likely going to get a private war chest. Now, how much gold would this be? Well, it's guaranteed 150 gold no matter what, as the lowest possible roll in a private war chest is 150 gold. You can, of course, get more if you're lucky, but that's the minimum. If you do get lucky and get a sergeant war chest, your minimum is 275 gold. And if you get really lucky with a general war chest, your lowest roll is 425 gold. Now, the best part about these chests is that you can get even luckier with higher gold drops or even tanks. And if you get a tank from these chests and you already own that tank, you actually get the gold value of that tank as compensation, unlike the tank war chests that give you silver. So these are potentially huge chunks of gold, but it's best to treat these as their lowest possible rolls at 150 gold each time when you're trying to add up how much gold you can make in a certain amount of time for free. But getting lucky with these are always fantastic and a nice freebie. With seasons being usually 8 to 10 weeks long, that means with one long haul per week at a bare minimum of 150 gold per roll, that's 1200 to 1500 gold minimum a season from one long haul a week. Now if you play enough to get both long hauls a week, first of all seek help, but that comes out to obviously double the value at 2400 to 3000 gold minimum for long hauls within a single season. And of course, let it be said that this is the minimum and requires lots of games, but can also be even more rewarding with high gold pulls or even lucky tank duplicate drops. Now during the season, there's also a season pass with gold in it. Now if the point of getting gold is to buy the season pass, that means the gold you'll get from it will be way more limited until you purchase it. Within the free pass, there is sparsely placed 400 gold to earn and one free private war chest, so at least 550 gold from the free pass. If you have the paid pass, which costs 2000 gold, there's actually 2100 gold in the pass, as well as two private, one sergeant, and one general war chests, meaning at least 3100 gold from the paid pass. Now, if you're like me and want the ultimate pass when there's a World War II tank in it, but you only have 2000 gold, you can start by buying the paid pass earn the 3100 gold from the pass, and only need to either get lucky with the war chest from the pass itself, or just do 6 long haul completions at a minimum. Meaning you can buy the ultimate pass within the season. Starting from 0 gold however means completing more long hauls or getting lucky with those long hauls, but it's entirely possible to earn an ultimate pass every season without spending money for gold. Now that's just the long haul in the season pass. There is another way to earn war chests however for more gold, but this one requires a lot more playing than just long hauls. The Tanker Rewards Program. Here on the profile page, you may have noticed this panel here on the top left that shows some levels. This is your monthly and yearly tanker rewards. The higher the level and tier, the more rewards you get from boosters to premium time and war chests. For the monthly rewards, you need to earn 2500 points to get the maximum AAA rewards that give out the only war chest from the monthly side of things. And it is a general war chest, which means 425 gold minimum. Now to earn points, you get them from qualifying battles, which just mean a minimum XP requirement per tier for their battle to count. Then, depending on the results of that match, you earn a certain amount of points. Winning and surviving gives 5 points, winning but dying gives 4 points, a draw and surviving gives 4 points, a draw but dying gives 3 points, a loss with 2 or more kills gives 3 points, and a loss with 0 or 1 kill gives only 1 point. That's the main way you're going to get points but you can also earn points from purchasing gold packs or war chests. But this video is about how to not spend money, so obviously wouldn't recommend making points that way. You also get a point for logging in every day and through the Taker Referral Program if you're into bringing your friends into this hellscape of a game we all know and love. Now there is a yearly tier reward as well, where you can make way more from. If you make it to tier 7, you get 150 gold. Tier 8, 275 more gold on top of that. Tier 9, 425 more gold and a general war chest. 
and every additional 1,000 points from the Tier 9's 4,000 point requirement gives an additional 3 general war chests. You earn these rewards at the end of each month as long as you keep your yearly tier up, which means if you play enough, you can get up to 1700 gold at the end of the month if you reach AAA that month and are at tier 9 on the yearly status. Of course that's a lot of playing, and I personally have never reached even tier 7 before for that extra 150 gold. I did make it to AAA a few times back when I would do double long hauls, but that hasn't happened in over a year, so it really is a lot of playing, but it's technically free available gold. So if you play enough, there is free gold for you to get. But if you can earn all of this gold, then you might have some self-inspection work to do. Either way, these are the ways I know of for you to earn free gold in this game. If you know of more ways that I haven't talked about, then leave them in the comments below. Have fun with these long hauls tankers. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.